In today's video, I am adding the most dangerous and scariest creatures from Subnautica into Minecraft. And the final results were actually insane. Trust me, I didn't add just any creature, but I selected only the three biggest and scariest in the entire game, including a very huge one from a mod. So huge that I actually had to scale it down a little bit to be able to render. And then, my friend and I survived in an ocean infested with all of these monsters. When it comes to underwater survival, there's no better game than Subnautica, and this game has a very special way with playing with horror, which is exactly the theme of this channel. It plays with fear of being deep underwater, but that's not all. Subnautica has a huge variety of dangerous monsters that will hunt you down. So to start, I decided that I would add the most popular creature in the game. I'm obviously talking about the Reaper Leviathan. This horrible thing is the third largest aggressive mob, and if you find it, you better turn your back, because you'll be turning to shreds. I started by making an elongated fish with multiple segments, so that it can bend when swimming. I added the fins at the end of the tail and began working on the head which has a jaw that I will make it move later on. And last but not least, I added these fang-like spikes on its head which the leviathan uses to grab your vehicle and shred it into pieces whenever you get too close to it. But why are you getting close to it anyways? I made one and then copy pasted the other three and after that was done I took the colors from the original game and used them to make my texture. Then began painting the face and giving it some extra details like the inside of the mouth and the eyes. But then I realized I was forgetting something really important that I was missing. It needs teeth, obviously. This thing has some pretty sharp teeth so I had to add them. I basically made three planes and matched them with the jaw and now we have the Reaper Leviathan in Minecraft. I'm not gonna lie, this thing already looks pretty cool. It gives me some awful flashbacks and this thing came from behind me and jump scared me. And obviously I couldn't add the Reaper Leviathan without also adding its famous jump scare. Now there is a problem however. The Minecraft oceans are not deep. Even though the world generation was updated to reach minus 64 blocks, the oceans remained untouched and these Subnautica creatures are simply way too big to fit in the tiny Minecraft oceans, so I had to do something. I couldn't make the creatures smaller, so I used a world editor to make the oceans deeper, and I mean much deeper, so you can truly have the full Subnautica experience, including the horror of descending into the abyss. Now I can't explore the oceans by just swimming or using a boat, cause these creatures are way too fast, and also it's not fun, so I decided to add a vehicle. Subnautica has quite a few of them, including a big thing that I never had enough materials to make, a cool mech suit and a sea moth, which is like a submarine. And that's what I chose. To not spend too much time on it, I took the AI of a fish and the AI of a horse and mixed them together. And now you get a submarine that you can control, so technically you can get baby sea moths, but we don't talk about that. For my next creature, I'll be making the ghost leviathan. The ghost leviathan is the second largest creature in the game, and it is special for a reason. Only three of them spawn in the map, however, if you travel too far beyond the crater, which is the place area, you will enter the ecological dead zone, which is also called the void. This place has no bottom, and no light can be seen, almost as if you were in space. It's truly horrible, because you can go as deep as you want and never reach the bottom. You can easily get lost here, because there's no reference points. There's also no other creatures here, and then suddenly the ghost leviathans begin to surround you. The longer you stay here, the more of them will appear, and they look especially scary in total darkness. To create the ghost leviathan, I took the shape of the reaper, but changed the shape of the head by adding these two horizontal horns. I also added a mouth that can be articulated and will open up whenever it's ready to attack you. I wouldn't want to stand near that to be honest. I then began to texture it, gave it yellow glowing eyes and painted the entire body blue. Now here is the problem. The ghost leviathan is transparent and it also glows in the dark which gives it its ghostly appearance when you see it in the void. However, in Minecraft you cannot make a texture that is transparent and it also glows. So I had to make a decision. I didn't want to sacrifice the glow, so I had to sacrifice the transparency. But I came up with a trick to make it look transparent. I painted the center of the texture black while the edges were blue and it would glow in the dark, so it would give this fake transparent appearance because it's in the dark anyways. I also added some extra details like these weird veiny things and glowing orange dots and a fin at the top of the head. Now the ghost leviathan as I mentioned earlier spawns in the ecological dead zone which is completely dark, so I wanted to have something similar to that effect. So I made it so whenever you get close to one, you get darkness effect, kinda like from the warden, and I think this looks very similar to what you see in the game. And man, this looks really cool. I think I did a pretty good job at making the swimming animation quite creepy and realistic. And the sensation of being isolated in the darkness, not knowing when it's going to attack you is, is pretty freaky. Now for my next and final monster, I had to make something big, and when you think about what is the largest creature in Subnautica, you will obviously think about the sea dragon leviathan as it is bigger than the other two leviathans. It can be found in the lava biome, but I wanted something else, bigger and terrifying and totally not an excuse to not have to model and animate fingers and tentacles. Subnautica has a very deep lore when it comes to the biology of its world and in one of the areas of the game called the Boneyard, 
you can find the remains of an absolutely gigantic monster called the Gargantian Leviathan. It's an ancient extinct creature and the head is already pretty huge measuring 100 meters and the remains of the rest of the creature measure around 402 meters long and that is only one third of the complete skeleton so yeah it's pretty darn big which means this creature could measure almost two kilometers. For the Americans that is 1280 bananas and like I said this creature is extinct but you can add it via mods which is absolutely terrifying. So that's what I added as the ultimate challenge. I began making a base for the head, while for the body I went in a different way than I did for the other leviathans. I made it slightly more detailed in shape so that it matches the size in detail. And this thing is absolutely long so I had to make it a lot, and I mean a lot of segments. And I also modeled these pointy parts around the head, I gave it three eyes and I began to add every single teeth which were bigger than a full block. And now that its mouth was full of teeth, I began texturing. I added a base dark grey color, painted the eyes neon yellow and I painted the glowing dots all over the length of its body. That didn't deserve subscribe i don't know what it what it uh, what i what, 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 what. okay if that didn't make you want to subscribe i don't know what would so wait, where are we heading i don't know Should anywhere so there should so, be wait. some reapers around here so you put oh, i'm sorry what did you say did you say reapers <laughs> oh oh yeah i might have said that eh all the detail on like the the different parts of the of the sea moth is amazing. Wait, I watched you come back. <laughs> the okay, water is really dark. I was gonna say, I can't come back, please. Are you with me? Yep, I'm right behind you. Okay. I'm on your fat tail. There you oh, go, guys. Nice. Hello. Hello. Oh shoot! <laughs> oh. Oh my god. That scared me so bad! <gasps> I didn't think it was gonna be that big! <gasps> oh! <laughs> Get it off! I can't see it! Where am I? <laughs> I'm so scared! Oh, no. oh my god! Oh, I got really genuinely bad. so I got so <gasps> jump scared! It's so big! I. You suck! I hate you! You shouldn't have made this! That, that's a compliment. <laughs> that's exactly what I was expecting to hear. Oh my gosh. If this is that big, what the heck is the ghost one gonna look like? Oh, Whoa! Crap. Whoa! What just happened? I can't see. Oh my gosh, I can't see. Oh! Oh, oh my god! <gasps> oh, it's on me. It's so big, I can't see this. Oh! It opens its mouth! Oh! It opens its mouth! Oh, oh crap. Whoa. It's too fast. Oh, oh no. Where'd it go? I can't see! It's after me! Connie? Oh, oh my gosh! The ghost of life is way- The ghost of life is way worse. Oh my god, it's so- It's so big! The way it moves too is so like accurate. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God! There's a reaper. There's a ghost. There's another reaper. Oh <laughs> Jesus Christ! It's just flying. Oh, what the heck? It's so sick. What? Oh my gosh! We're surrounded. <laughs> oh no! There's so many. Oh what? What is that? 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 Why is it so big? What is this? What is why is it so big? What is that? What is that? Oh my god, what is that? What is that? What what is that? It's the gargantuan Leviathan. I'm panicking a little bit. What? Trusting it. Oh my god! It's so Wait, I'm back underwater again. Oh my Wait, god. Don't move too much. Stay there. Stay there. What is happening? Yeah. What just happened? It's huge. Is it jumping? It's jumping out of the water? Yep. The tail goes higher than the clouds, by the way. I don't know if you've noticed that, but it does. <gasps> you made that? Yeah. 
Um, yeah, I made it. And it, it, it easy. Shut up. Shut up. What is the, what? <laughs> how? 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 I'm I'm pretty messed up like, like that. I'm so impressed. I fuck. Blabbergasted. I. <laughs> Me hop on it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> That's my name. Adios. <laughs> you lost your seam off. How do you feel? There's a pit in my stomach that I can't seem to get rid of, sir. Goodbye. Just, just realized I have some dino nuggets in the air fryer at home, so I get. Oh yeah. So is that what motivates you to leave the depths of the ocean? Absolutely. Nice.